I was flabbergasted. The whole night after, I'm just like, guys, remember when Patrick Chan scored 300 points? Welcome back to that figure skating show. And we have a special segment for you from the bringers of the top seven Canadian skating moments. We left out the one, the only, the man, the king, Patrick Chan. Uh, we are sorry. <laughs> really, really sorry. We really got sorry. overwhelmed. We got overwhelmed. We were going through the list of all of his incredible moments and got so overwhelmed that we forgot to include one of them into the top seven. So we decided and very rightfully so, he deserves his own segment. Yeah. Now here we are. Before we even get into the top five, let's just like list his accolades. You know, just in case people think we need to justify this segment, which if you do, leave. So like Patrick Chan, 10 time Canadian champion. Imagine being in power for a decade. Like you're John Chan. That's me. <laughs> Maybe that's who Trump was trying to like keep up with. John Chan? <laughs> no, <laughs> Patrick Chan. Oh. Uh, yeah, so three Olympic medals, four Grand Prix final medals. That's crazy. That's it is. Crazy. It That's... is. I mean, we could end we could end this segment on that, but we're going to yeah. give you our top five <laughs> Patrick Chan moments. Number five, 2016 Four Continents Free Program. He was fifth after the short. Uh, I was there, I was in the stands. I think I was the first person standing in the audience, uh, probably with about a minute and a half left in his program, I just knew. He was <laughs> flawless, he was incredible, um, and showing so much excitement at the end. Like he finished and he was fist pumping and he was emotional, not um, you know a standard thing we see from Patrick, but obviously that, that quadrennial was a rebuild for him and what a huge moment for him to take the win out of that four continents championship. And from a 12 point deficit, and like you say, it was a rebuild phase for him. He's new coaching, uh, completely changing his direction in his skating, his focus, uh, and a huge, huge, huge moment. Uh, number four, Moncton Nationals, when Mr. Chair broke 300 points. 300 of them things. I I remember just being up in like the athletes, the skater section where we all like congregate. Um, and again, on his like, before he was even finished, we were all on our feet. And then when I heard 300 in the score, I was flabbergasted. I've never seen that number anywhere before. It was so, so ridiculous. The whole night after, I'm just like, guys, remember when Patrick Chan scored 300 points? Everyone was going nuts. Crazy. Everyone was going nuts. They were Crazy. chanting his name. Unreal. Number three, we had to pick one of them, but I, I chose his first of his three world titles. Uh, it was in Moscow. Um, I was fortunate enough to be there. I don't think the Phantom of the Opera should ever be skated to again by another man. That program was unbelievable. Oh He, he had medaled at Worlds the year before. He was like, th th his time was like there and he took it and it was unbelievable. You really, it was kind of the beginning of his dominance. Right? He won the next two after that, so. And I, I think with Phantom of the Opera, it's been done in skating. It's still being done forever. Uh, it's a classic piece. And for him to take something that we've seen and heard time and time again, and make it uh, not only his own, but iconically his own. And we still reference Patrick Chan's Phantom of the Opera now, uh, almost a decade later. Uh, that's the sign of a true champion and icon in figure skating. Champion. Chan Pian, that's him. He's uh -huh. absolutely crazy. Number two. His undefeated season, 2011 to 2012. I don't think it needs any explanation. Undefeated means undefeated. You can't touch me. Gold medal on my neck every single event. 
what you're talking about. Back up. It's like like Back those up. fighters that walk around at the pre-fight with the like belt around their shoulder. Yeah. He just like wears the medal from the last competition to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Just around. like just but, doing a little yeah. dance hey guys. <laughs> with the hey medals guys. on his chest. Yeah. yeah. Who wants like, to stand next to me today? Make sure the sun catches it from the right angle so it blinds his competition. That's what yeah. you gotta do. The That's what you gotta do. That's I mean, like he just he was in a groove, you know? He just he really channeled his energy for that entire season. You are so in your element, and it's Kiss Patrick Chet, you know? Yeah. He just gets us all going. I mean, uh, listen, I've known him since he was like five, so I've had a <laughs> long time to build these up, you know? <laughs> Didn't just happen by chance. Okay, number one. Honestly, like, it, it was a great skate. I, I mean, even when he skates terribly, he's a great skate because he's such a, an, an amazing, amazing skater. But his 10th Canadian title, I mean, it's a record. Also, like not getting bored, <laughs> like being able to go to nationals and win that many times and somehow make it interesting for yourself. That in itself is a feat. He truly is a Canadian champion. world icon go watch a patrick chan program you know from his humble beginnings with uh colson osborne and seeing the phenom he was going to be in juvenile he's a phenom he's amazing uh and, and i friend. want and a good friend yeah uh i want to also give an honorable mention to every single one of his step sequence Every single one. All of them, Every, even the ones he fell on. Yes, <laughs> but because he would push himself, like his edges were like this, his posture, his emotion, like his seamless connectivity with turns and he body Well, he movement. changed He changed men's skating. The way he did step sequences and the way he brought quads and skating skills and artistry back into the mix at the same time. And uh, I mean, I think he's largely responsible for the whole package men's skater right now. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm we miss getting you. I'm getting so excited. Uh we yeah, and then con congratulations. He's now a married man to Elizabeth Putnam. And uh I wish him much success in whatever he does with the rest of his life. Uh he deserves. Thank you, Patrick, for all the wonderful skating and the decades, the decades of just you know, changing our sport and making us love it while watching you.